Hi, good evening Saberheads. In this video, we're going to take a look at the five things the Sabres have done right during the Pagula era. Coming up. I bet you're excited to hear this stuff. All right, let's check it out. The five things we've done right during the Pagula era. Here we go. And there's nothing more to say than the title. There's no, <laughs> you know, let's just keep going. All right, number five. The Sabres never brought back the blue ice experiment from 2005. And people say, what the hell does that have to do with that? That's very important. No more blue ice. Remember when we had the yellow lines and it just was a disastrous experiment? Well, the Sabres are that smart of a franchise. They never went and brought it back during the Pagula era. That's huge. All right, number four. Not once did the Jumbotron crash and break on the ice, like back in 1996, remember? Not once did that happen during the Pagula era, folks. So there you go. We gotta give credit where it's due. And I think as we go along on this list, it's gonna make more and more sense that things aren't as bad as we think. Now, number three. Now, I know we've made a lot of mistakes with, with hirings of general managers and even some coaches and, you know, we've made some mistakes. But folks, we've never made the ultimate mistake. We've never hired Mike Milbury. We've never hired Mike Milbury. And that means the Pagulas have to know what they're doing. Come on. No Mike Milbury is a good thing because that's the only thing missing in the disaster of, of some of the disasters we've been through, folks. Imagine we would have had Mike Milbury as our GM. Just think about the brunt of the jokes we'd be. Think about that one for a day. God. So that uh, Milbury makes it up to number three. So far, so far we, we never went back to the blue ice. We never broke the Jumbotron again. Never crashed to the ice like last time. And no Mike Milbury. So there you go. There's three positives to take. Next time you think the Sabres aren't doing well under the Pagulas, remember these things. Come on. All right. Number two. And you're going to agree with this one. We never lost to a Zamboni driver in all these years. And no, Toronto, I'm just having a little fun. Calm down. We never lost to one. So that says a lot. As far as I'm concerned, we never lost to a Zamboni driver. David Ayers, I believe his name, right? And um, no, we never lost. Never lost to a Zamboni driver. Now, we never had the unfortunate luck of uh, facing uh, Ayers in, in a game. So... We'll thank our lucky stars. And number one, let's hear the drum roll. All right, so not only are we in the process of developing and getting better with the kids and, and and just trusting that we're going to go a different route and see where it brings us. 
we're actually, as Adam said, we're in control of the process. There you go. What do you think? And now if that isn't five things to be proud of, I don't know what is. All right, guys, I'm making a few videos tonight. I'm not doing, I'm not doing as well as usual, but I am out there in the process myself of making, not in the great process that Kevin Adams is. That's a different whole intelligent process you and I can't even understand. So we gotta leave that be. But I'm in the process myself right now of like uh, working on those two big videos I still gotta get up. So uh, yeah, there it is guys, five things the Sabres have done right in the Bugula era. And if that isn't something we can hang our heads high about, I don't know what is. You tell me, okay? Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.